G'day guys, welcome back to Red Trucks. This is the second instalment of 3 inch fire rigs. So let's get straight into it. Um, first up we have this one from, I think it's uh, Matchbox. Got a little tag on it still. Yeah, let's have a look. What is this? I paid three bucks for it. Um, it's a brush fire, workstar brush fire truck. 2007. Uh, I'm not even sure it's Matchbox or Hot Wheels. I think it's Hot Wheels. But it's a beautiful uh, bushfire type truck. There's the interior. Has got a steering wheel in there. Again, a bit dusty, but yeah, there's a, there's a couple of variations of this. I've got a green one, um, which will be in the third installment of 3-inch fire rigs. I should have actually put it in this one. Maybe I'll, um, if I can see it, I'll grab, oh yeah, it's actually here. Yeah, good. All right, let's continue looking at this one. Yeah, very nice. So that's the first one. Let's put it. Let's put it in the back there. And as I was saying, the variation is this one. So it's actually Matchbox, is it? This is the um, National Parks version. Yeah, International Brush Fire Work 2007. So there's two of the variations that I have. I prefer the black grill, but I, I do like the red colouring better. Completely identical. And let's just, just make sure it does fit three inches. Wow. Yep. So there's two Workstar brush fire trucks. Let's keep them in shot first and then we can pan back later. Okay, next up we have uh, Porsche Cayenne. Cayenne. Pay $1.50 for it at the market. Porsche Cayenne Turbo. It's from Siku. And the sticker's about to lose its stickiness. What am I looking for? Most my brush here. Yeah. Okay. You'll have to put a new sticker on it. There's the interior. It's got a nice steering wheel, nice dash. Uh, this was second hand, as I said, in the market. The uh, it doesn't quite line up there. I think it lines up better at the other side. Yeah. Yeah, just uh, slightly off. It's like the door's dropped a bit, there's a bit of a gap there. There's a gap there as well. But lens headlights, lens taillights, tow hitch still in operation. Yeah, very nice. I want to pay a dollar fifty for that. That's that's worth at least double that. I would pay three dollars for that easily. So that's the third one. Um, 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 this one, is this a real toy, if I can remember correctly? Ford Explorer, uh, is it a real toy? Yeah, real toy. Real toy do some okay stuff. I mean, the wheels aren't great, the rims I mean. It looks like it's from a Chinese fire department or Japanese. But all the details are there, front and back. Let's have a look at the interior. It's quite nicely done. The steering wheel's not a solid piece. It's it's actually got gaps in the um, spokes, so that's always a great thing. Got a couple of rows of seats. Again, I forgot to dust it first. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's a nice nice little Ford Explorer. 
Okay, what do we got next? Um, we've got this one that I bought on Gumtree for $4. I believe it's a Corgi. I bought quite a few Corgis off a woman on Gumtree last year. Uh, they're all in mint condition. Corgi Junior, this is. Made in Great Britain. Let's dust it first, Jim. That's better. Mountain Rescue. Headlights are done. Taillights are not done because it's red. Some stuff in the roof rack, yeah. toolbox. Spare tire. Maybe a couple of batteries, I don't know. The interior. Well, the steering wheel is not great, but can't complain. Well, I will, but I shouldn't. Nothing opens. So there's a corgi. Uh, what can we look at next? Uh, let's look at this one. This one is a gift from my good mate in Nova Scotia, Canada, Robin from Rick Breck Raceway. Um, yeah, from last year. This is a Rescue Dasher from Matchbox. Now what he did was he actually um, changed the wheels on this. It's got great detail. Look at the um, painting on it. Yeah, he actually put uh, new wheels on for me. He put rubber tyres and best of all he put jewelries at the back. How good is that? I really love this truck. I mean, I didn't bother buying it. Um, well, I might have one version of it, but it wasn't one that really grabbed my attention. Now, I don't really like yellow or lime green fire trucks, but this is just outstanding, mainly because of the dual wheels. So shout out to my mate Robin, Rip Rack Raceway. Check out his channel. Outstanding work, mate. Right. Um, yeah, I've got this, I've got these cheap, cheap castings, they're called street machines, uh, they only cost me, I got this at a, a pawn shop actually in the city, this one cost me a little bit more than the other two, but even though they're cheap castings, they've been done pretty well, I mean look at the packaging for a start, you get this plastic and cardboard, What's that? Oh, that's the actual receipt when I bought it. I put it inside the box. Yeah, um, like there's no name. It just says China, but it's got all the decals and the accessories, the ladder and stuff, and the lights. Uh, it's got the interior. I remembered to dust it this time. Yeah, it does have an interior. I mean, the steering wheel is, isn't great, but it's not a solid piece. Seating at the back. And there's, a, there's an act, actual um, six-wheel ladder truck in this um, brand too, which I hope to get one day. <coughs> Sorry. So yeah, that's from uh, Street Machines. Van City. Must be Vancouver City. Fire department. I remember on one of these there's a spelling mistake. Um, I don't think it's this one. No. So that could be, I think that is Vancouver City. I think these are based on um, Canadian fire trucks. So let's open another one. This one might tell us. What did I pay for this one? This one I paid. Paid like two dollars, so that's not too bad. So this is like a oh, this is an explosive center. Yeah, there you go, Vancouver City Fire Department. Oh, there's a spelling mistake. See, so it says Department instead of, instead of Department. 
depart hent. So there's someone in quality control um, goofed up. It's got a steering wheel with spokes. If if um, the wheels were changed, which is possible, we could take a rivet out, put on some decent wheels. This is, these would be much better, and I can paint the grill and the headlights. Yeah, it would really lift these models. Let's look at the third and final one of them. This is the airport crash tender version. So this is dial 911. It's got the ladder that lifts up. It's got the little fire nozzle. Um, this looks a lot like uh, one of those ones I showed before, which I don't know where I put now. Yeah, this looks like a, a bit of a a, a rip-off of the Matchbox version of this one. No, this is a Corgi. It doesn't really look like a Corgi. It looks like the Matchbox one. I just can't remember where I put them. That's weird. I just had them here. Um... That is bizarre. I just did a video with them and they should be right. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this one. Woo! Let's have a look. Yeah, look at that. That's, that's almost exactly the same. It is. So they have copied the Matchbox casting. It's identical. Even the size. Yeah, there you go. Put that one back. So yeah, that's the um, street machine fire models. <clears throat> okay, moving along. Uh, this one, this is a classic Matchbox foam unit. Um, there's multiple variations of this. Um, I've got I've got another one. I, I couldn't find it though, so I brought out the yellow one. Um, command vehicle, but I think originally it was a like a camper van. This one's uh, mint condition. Just a very nice all-round casting. Uh, when was it first done? Doesn't tell you. This one's made in Macau. But yeah, I do have a red version somewhere, but I just couldn't find it for this video. Okay, um, got some old ones to show you too. Let's start with this old one, super vast. I'm going to need a butter knife to open this box because it's quite fragile. I probably should be wearing my gloves. So here's the original old Meriwether from 1970 odd. having trouble focusing. 1969 Merriweather fire engine with the super fast wheels. So it's probably not the first version but it's quite old. 69 so that's like it's a, a well over 50 years. The uh, paper stickers are a little bit worn so I'll try not to touch them anymore but at least they are all there. There's the pump machinery in the back, a couple of fire extinguishers. Let's give him a clean. The old fella deserves a clean. Let's have a look at the interior. There is no interior. I guess it wasn't a priority back in those days. Yeah, no interior. So there's a classic old Merriweather. 
spleen may. And while on the Merriweather theme, let's have a look at this one. So this is basically the same type of truck as the fronts of them. Does it say Merriweather on this one? It just says snorkel. What's it say? Snorkel? Yeah, it just says snorkel. And this one's from 19... 81. So this one is 69, this one is 81. But you can see the body shape is still there, it's just cut away a bit up the top there for the actual snorkel. Let's put him down in that one. So the snorkel appliance does work, it spins around, it's got a little guy in a bucket. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't based on a actual fire truck because I can't see how they would have cut a section of a roof away to do that. Quite a few variations of this as well. I think I've got another one here. Yeah, I'll just show you the other one as well. This was a another gift from Chris from CRA Diecast. He was good enough, kind enough to give me these for free. So here's another variation. Absolutely identical. Um, not sure what year this one was from. 81 as well. So yeah, I, I have two, two variations of this one. So that's the Merryweathers. Um, then we have this old Denver pumper. Again, I have to be careful of this box and I don't tear it. Uh, what did I pay for it? 35 bucks back in 2019. Um, there is a couple of variations of this and there are a lot that are different ages. I think this one was 1970 so might not be the very first one but it does have the old type of wheels. mint condition uh, these can go you know anywhere from like 50 to 100 bucks on ebay now let's read the base uh, which way does it go that way fire pumper trunk number 29 but it doesn't have the year but i believe it's late 60s early 70s uh, the other variation i was talking about was there was one with like a um a nozzle, a spray nozzle on top. Uh, you don't see it very often there. And there's other variations with different um, stickers. But yeah, I've got this one. And while we've got this one here, let's let's give it a measure. I'm pretty sure it is three inches. Yeah, three inches. So while we've got that one out there, let's show you this uh, Tonka ripoff of it. I got this one from the Vinnies, and straight away I knew it was a copy of the old Matchbox one. Look at that, three bucks at Vinnies. The wheels are just atrocious, they really don't suit it. Let's do a comparison. So here's the matchbox on the right, Tonka on the left. Getting a bit of um, interference from the background, but you can see where it's the same, same model basically. All the lines of the doors are there and the little cabinets. Or a hose rolled up on top. So yeah, that's interesting. Right, how are we going for time? Not, almost 20 minutes already, wow. Oh god, time just flies when you're having fun.
Let's have a look for another couple of uh, Tonkas that I got on the same day from the same Vinnies. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one has been done by Matchbox as well. So it looks like Tonka copied uh, another of Matchbox's castings. Uh, the trailer, the um, tray doesn't lift. All it does is swing back and forward the snowplow. But I saw him there at Vinnie's. There was one other I didn't get, which I was a bit sad about later. I thought, how could I leave the, the other one there all by itself and just take his two friends? So I did go back a few weeks later, but it was gone. Um, here's another one that is apparently copied from Matchbox, I believe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure I've seen a version of this um, from Matchbox. Or maybe Hot Wheels. No, I think Matchbox. Uh, this part at the back is plastic. Cabin is uh, metal. There won't be any interior, I don't think. Windows are very dark, but... Uh, nah. But, you know, they're just nifty little trucks I thought I'd, I'd grab. So, yeah, that's another Tonka. Uh, what do we got left? Okay, we got some uh, Tomikas or Tomikas. Wherever you want to, wherever you're from and want to call them, pronounce them. I call them Tomikas. So, what do we got? A Merida fire engine. Uh, this one, where did I get this from? I think... Is this one I got from Malaysia? That's strange. Oh, there it is. Is it? Let's just say background is blocked. Yeah, Sui Wang Center, Kuala Lumpur. 21 Malaysian ringgits. Shout out to my mate in Malaysia, uh, B-Tan and Company. I'm sure he'll be watching, hopefully. Uh, yeah, there you go. Got this one in the Sui Wang Center. Wow, six years ago. I remember going to that shop waiting for it to open one morning when I was on holiday. So yeah, nice clean model. Uh, very narrow. Let's see if the Tomica measures up to the 3 inch um, rule. Yeah, pretty much 3 inches. I don't really like the new Tomicas. I prefer the older ones. You're about to see two of them in a minute. So yeah, that's a Tomica. Now we're getting into the older Tomicas. Uh, I think these are from the 80s. What's this sticker say? Bought from so-and-so. 35 bucks. This cost me. This was five years ago. This is a smaller scale. This is uh, 1110. Has the working snorkel appliance. Has a little bit of an interior. Let's clean it up so we do it justice. Uh, yeah, the interior. Just trying to get in shot. It doesn't look like it's got a steering wheel. It's a couple of bench seats. Uh, I'm not sure what year this is from. Let's have a look. Tomika Snorkel Made in Japan 1110. Yeah, it doesn't really tell you the year it was made. It doesn't tell you on the box either, I don't think. Unless it's written in Japanese. But I believe it's from uh, the 80s or 90s. Unfortunately, the model itself doesn't look as good as the art on the box. So yeah, there's Atomica. And lastly, if you lasted this long, we've got this old Tomica, which was $35 as well from the same seller. Uh, 
Uh, I actually could have put this in another video. I did a video you might have seen by now about um, front front twin axle drive fire trucks. It was called something like that. Anyway, yeah, I could have put that in this one in because this has got twin front axles that steer. So based on a Hino truck. This one's got quite nice detail. A little ladder will extend. Uh, this one's an even smaller scale, is it? No, yeah, one one hundred and twenty-five. This one is. Doesn't look much like the picture on the box, but it's still nice to have. Yeah, so I better wrap this up, guys. Uh, another 20 minute video, I just can't help myself. I'm going to pack all these away and start filming another one soon. So, hopefully, you enjoyed this second installment of Three Inch Fire Rigs. And stay tuned for one or two more. See you guys. Bye.